Hello, uh, today we have an uh, amazing guest, Amar Angri from Margin Business. He's very good friends of Cell Screen, and uh, we, we've been working uh, like basically almost a year. And uh, the, the interesting thing that Omar owns the business, which helps companies localize uh, on different marketplaces, and Elsa, uh, the SaaS solution, uh, the ones who want to optimize the SEO strategy using AI. So thank you very much for coming today. Uh, let's uh, start with the questions. Okay, great, great. Perfect. Uh, my first question is, what is the difference in optimizing the Amazon listings in the Middle East compared to the other regions you're working in? Okay, um, very good question, because everyone thinks that, or not everyone, but there is a lot of people who are actually thinking when they bring the products over from marketplace to marketplace, that they can just put it in and there is no problem, just plug it in and sell, but it's not so easy. So so the, the difference is, like to every other country, um, they need to they, you need to understand the, the, the local culture. You need to understand the keywords people are actually searching with. Because especially in the the actually the challenging part in the UAE is that there are so many nationalities that everyone's searching with a different term. So for for different uh, items, um, there will be used different keywords. So this is the major difference, and every everyone needs to look into this because you it, it's true it's challenging because you cannot just sit somebody down and say yeah I have a native Emirati speaker and he will sit down. Um, at uh, and and pull out some Arabic keywords. It's it's not so easy. First of all, yes, there are Arabic keywords, not too many, but they exist. And, and English keywords are the most. So you need to you need to do a research yourself in this case, which can take quite a lot, quite a long time, in order to understand what you're actually looking at. So it's 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 more special the market than than any other market, I would say. Sure, interesting. And uh, what the typical uh, mistakes what uh, sellers make entering their Middle East market? They bring, for example, products. Let's say from the US or the for the EU. They just put them there and expect that they're going to sell. Like uh, with the same reasons what I just explained, um, because they think, yeah, we're going to put some keywords in from the US and and let's see if it works and it's it's fine and we just test out the market. Um, okay, testing out the market is fine, but with the plan is a, is a lot better. So make sure that you understand where you put your feet. So uh, this is the co most common mistake companies do, and then they just go and abandon your listing. And you are a sale, you are um, a numbers person. Um, so I'm sure you see how many abandoned listings we have actually on the on the UAA marketplace. Yeah, 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 you're, you're uh, very, very correct. Um, but uh, like basically... You're saying the localization is the key part, but uh, what if the listing already has a lot of uh, sales and reviews in the hour market and that kind of listing was transferred to the UAE market? First question is like, um, what you need to do to continue to sell in the UAE and how it's this effect? And if you are actually the new in the market and you started from scratch from from the UAE from the for example UAE or KSA like uh can you actually beat those listings with uh huge uh, experience and uh, reviews and numbers and so on? okay let's let's start from the first question for let's take US sellers or European sellers because they have the most list uh, they have the most reviews actually on their listings so it's true um that they can bring their reviews to the UAE and suddenly you, you have in a very small market uh, an item which has 1,500 reviews, which is which is, seems scary. But I can say from experience um, that it's not scary because it doesn't mean anything for, for the it's not let's say not anything, but let's say it's 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 a lot less um, for the customers when they see this, that they say, oh, look, he's selling because they check the reviews and then they say, oh, all the reviews are from the United States because customers nowadays, they check reviews. They don't just say, uh, look at the stars uh, and, and that's about it, you know, no. They really check the reviews and they see, oh, everything is from the United States. So there is no nobody from my country or from the UAE who has uh, reviewed it. 
So okay, um, maybe I should look so look at uh, look at some UAE companies. So this is the this is the first thing uh, I would say. So they 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 might be in an advantage like at the first sight, but afterwards because I have seen myself many many listings which have like thousands of reviews and they don't sell one item per month. So then we come again. Um, the second question was when you're a new seller and you have zero reviews, how are you going to do? This is the good thing. We're not in the U.S. market where you have to throw thousands and thousands of dollars um, into the open space. Um, here you can only like begin. You can start. I know it's not legal, but you ask your friends, you ask your family, you know, um, <laughs> all of all of anything what you can do. Um, and it's actually because it's such a new market. It's actually easier to sell. So if you have a little bit of a clue what you're doing and you pick the right product, you can actually go up far in reviews without any like big efforts. It's not, it's not, it's really not a problem. So as soon as you go over 10 reviews, you are, you got the, uh, you're good, um, you're good to go uh, up, up into, into the sky. But like I said, you need really to make sure that you have the good product. You cannot blame it on uh yeah, my product, my um, my product is not good enough, or or something like that. You need to research before, so or, or Amazon don't work. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Uh, no, it don't work. Like I, like I already said, there is U.S. companies coming. They have thousands of reviews and they don't sell. So there is definitely a problem uh, to fix. And I, as I said already, the optimize the listing would be the first step. Optimize the pictures would be the second. But we go into this later on. I think Daria, thank you. Wow, uh, that's uh, very, very interesting. And what do you think about the competition uh, for the Amazon sellers in the Middle East? Uh, do you feel there are more sellers coming? And second is like, is it really possible to make good results within the Amazon UAE and KSA? I think at the moment they're coming sellers into the UAE. I think it's very professional. Um, we don't, we don't, what I don't see is like many like small sellers here and there, which trying their luck or trying, you know, trying to uh, sell something or I, I don't see this too much. I think percentage wise is very low. What I see is big, big institutions coming in, um, big baby brands, uh, big shoe brands from all around the world. And um, they try, they're trying to go in now. Second question is, and then I will continue with the first one as well. Is is there any possibility to to make a make maybe a good amount of money right now in in the UAE? I would say we are in an emerging market. Um, if you're if you really study well, you can make money definitely out of it. But for now, for me, this market is emerging. That means for now, you invest. Um, every the sales go up uh, slowly and. Once the ecosystem is filling, is filling, it will go on its own. So my prediction is 2025. And that's why I see as well so many big institutions coming in. Um, so many big sellers, uh, big brands coming on Amazon, UAE, KSA, in order to to um, to stabilize everything before the big, uh, big trend really coming in. Because once everyone knows that there's a lot of money to make, then it's going to be very crowded. So for now, everyone is preparing, although you can make money as well in these times. Okay, that's uh, very, very interesting. Great. And what is the biggest misconception Amazon sellers have about the Middle East, uh, especially Amazon UAE? Okay, uh, I think I think they they look they look at the UAE and say like, oh, okay, this is this is definitely like Europe. Uh, we're gonna need to put like VAT in. We have no clue about the paperwork. We need to do taxes and 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 all that funny stuff. I mean, Europe obviously there is agents. Hello, tax is uh, hel always helping with, with all the all the tax issues but for the, for the middle east or specifically for the uae and ksa it's a bit different so uae is very easy i would say um it's uh, it's it's really something very quickly they they very organized they're very digital so it's really not not a headache so just read yourself through um there is many uh, many agencies who can help with that or as well, just just go to Amazon and try to open an account yourself through your uh, Amazon US account. It's it's really easy. It's not. Uh, it's it's really a misconception that it's hard 
or that it's not it's not a lucrative market. It's if it's not now a hundred percent lucrative market, it will be definitely. And once it's at the top, it's too late. So. Wow, uh, that's uh, very interesting. And I know that you launched there, like your, your new tool uh, very recently. It's like more futuristic question. What future you see for the uh, listing optimization in 2025, let's say, <laughs> in the Middle East? What I, in the Middle East specifically, um, because it's an, uh, most, of, most uh, is English. I mean, UAE is English speaking. Um, not only English speaking, but I mean, for Amazon, the language uh, is default language is English and the translated language is Arabic. And, and KSA is actually the, the other way around. The, um, the language is Arabic and the translated language is, uh, is English. Um, what I see for English is that there will be in 2025 definitely a few of tools out there which will be able um, to automatically insert keywords into a text. I mean, they exist already, but there's still, you know, humps and bumps. It's still not 100% um, that uh, which is which are connected with an API to Amazon and they can pull keywords into a text and they know exactly how as well the, the different uh, strength of the keyword and the machine will know which strength to use and which will be best uh, for the keywords. But in any way, we always will need somebody who will read through the text afterwards that the machine will ever be able to do it perfectly got it uh that's uh very very interesting and uh how exactly to approach the keywords and seo optimization for the middle east can you give like short guy like basically like one to three what you need to do okay so the the best what will be is like really to um uh, some, sometimes the the old school method for to begin with is really good like you take your your three best sellers you know which uh, which you can rank through amazon one two three you know um and then you go through through these uh what what they are what they're actually saying in their in their listing which keywords are most probably are the good ones i mean we have tools like uh, uh from Salamatics as well which will help with that um, you use this type of tool, you, you go through and you pull your keywords out. It's, it's very like, um, it's really a one, two, three, because once you pull the keywords out, it would be great to have somebody who is native to UAE. It doesn't have to be specifically Emirati speaker. It depends on your product. Actually, if you sell something, which you know, the Emirati population is using, you will have to put your uh, try to put your listing into Arabic, or at least use keywords how the the person will search with it. So this is uh, this is definitely um, the steps what you what you what you really need to take in order to to reach these type of customers. Or as well with the English, it's it's exactly the same. So it's a bit of a mix here. It's a mixed approach and. Like I said, you need to have either like it depends on your product, an Emirati speaker or maybe an, an American speaker or an English a native uh, English UK speaker or you know whatever your product is is um, is aimed to sell to. Oh, interesting! And uh, can you optimize Arabic as well? So basically, you can fix both listings, and you also can track both listings. Is it correct? Uh, and yes, uh, great. And uh, like basically, then you are th do, do do have cases? Then you actually fix the Arabic language, and it gives you real results. Oh yes, definitely. Because um, like I said, we have. Uh, sorry if I'm I'm not mistaken, but I think it's twenty eight Arabic speaking countries. So if there is a, there is plenty of dialects, and if you come up from within dialect from from Egypt or uh, and you try to um, to sell to a different population, um, for example to Saudi population, it's not exactly the same Arabic. So you will you will need to adapt it. So if you for uh, if you have a listing which has been imported imported from from Egypt into Saudi, and then you you fix it because it's uh, it's. Um, it's an item which is specifically for the Saudi population and you change the keywords and everything that you definitely get better results. Yeah, great. Uh, we also can see it in our tool because there are a lot of uh, Arabic keywords which has quite a good uh, results in terms of the uh, frequency of using them. Uh, I mean, for customers. Um, 
this is great. Uh, can you explain the importance of customers' feedback and customers' review in the Middle East? Okay. I think for, for now, uh, for now, we are not that much under pressure like we are in Europe or in, in, in the US, although it will affect your, 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 your sales if your, um, if your reviews are very, very low. So always make sure, I think in the UAE for now, everything over 10 reviews can give you already, uh, it's open space, you know? I don't, I don't think that it's, like I said, that it's too much, uh, too much of a headache for mm-hmm. now, but from what I see, because there's many small sellers or sellers who, who just start. Um, so I think for now, for now, this is, um, it's not like you need to, like at the US, you need to uh, give away 50 units per, per day in order to rank for that keyword. We, you know, we're not there yet. It will be at some point, I'm 100% sure. But for now, for now, it's very, very, very decent. And you can, you can still try some, some lower methods uh, uh, without, without losing thousands to, to, to get some reviews in. Wow, uh, that's great. And uh, your clients usually from what categories they are, what they sell? Okay, most uh, w- from what I see or um, from, from the beginning is like house, house, everything what is in the house, you know, <laughs> uh, kitchen, everything what you can use in the house is, uh, is, is very welcome. Uh, to sell in the UAE. I mean, it's the biggest category from what I see, you know, and then obviously you have, you have the sports category, um, you have baby, but the home deco is, uh, is definitely number one. Yeah, you're right. It's like, actually the electronics is number one, but electronics is a very competitive and specific. Yes, yes, yes. And it's different, seller, you know? Yeah, for the sellers, the yeah, next, yeah. The, 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 the largest second is actually the home. And I, would, the, yeah, home. I, I would personally <laughs> not touch electronics, you know? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. We we know why. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but and uh, on that note, I guess we had a very great uh, interview with a lot of insights. If you guys wanna to connect with uh, Omar, please click the link below. Put thumbs up and subscribe uh, to the channel so uh, we can provide more uh, valuable speakers and uh, more useful content. Thank you. And uh, thank you so fun. much, Daria. Thank you a lot, Amar. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.